Hey, it's Brock with Conversant and Stuff, and this week I'm in Portugal with my trusty fanny pack. So, I can't imagine a better time to jump into the fanny pack video. Let's do it now. Hey, it's Brock from Conversant and Stuff, and today we're doing the episode from a soccer-inspired chic hotel in Lisbon, Portugal, which makes kind of a cool backdrop. Well, today we're talking fanny packs. Fanny packs are controversial. They can look kind of goofy. They can be a little bit uncomfortable to wear and women despise them. That being said, I think with the right accessories, a fanny pack can be one of the best day travel packs possible. Today we're gonna to talk about specifically the Mountain Smith Tour. Now, this is a fanny pack that I don't, I've had it so long, I can't even remember exactly when I bought it. This is my second one. This one is at least 15 years old. I think the thing that makes the Mountain Smith Tour a great pack is that it's a perfect size. It, it makes it so that you conserve on what you take because of space, but it holds enough to get by for the whole day. I've used this fanny pack for everything from traveling to hiking to going to football baseball games going on day trips around town this fanny pack was on a 5300 mile motorcycle trip around my ways from washington state up to the arctic circle and back so i think the fanny pack especially of this size can really fit a niche in between where you know a normal day pack because at least for me and my size i'm about six foot when I wear the smaller backpacks, they just kind of fit goofy. One key thing to this is that these can be incredibly uncomfortable if they're if you just kind of wear them normally, which I do when I'm shooting photos sometimes, especially years ago when I used to shoot sports photography. But for this particular uh, fanny pack, they make these these straps called strapettes that make it into make it into a backpack of sorts and that way you can tuck the straps in behind and pretty much wear it as a wears it a pack all day this particular pack is really simple it's got one zipper in the front it's got one inside for um for kind of stuff in your valuables and then it's got water pockets on the side so real simple but real functional pack a piece of gear can really become iconic, and I think the Mountain Smith Tour is a perfect example of this. This trip while I was in New York City, I'm in Portugal now. This thing's been on my back every day with my camera gear in it, my sunscreen, my, my passport. It's just fantastic, and I think what makes gear iconic is when you use it day after day, week after week, year after year. And being somebody like me that really likes gear, and if I saw a fanny pack that I think I could offer me more, then I probably would have upgraded it by now. But you just don't think about it and you use it. And you only start thinking about it when it starts wearing out. I know fanny packs are controversial and people love to hate them, but I think they really fit a great spot between a day pack backpack and something smaller to carry your your things around day to day i can't recommend the mountain smith tour highly enough and for that reason this is going to be the first entry into the conversant in stuff hall of fame and the conversant in stuff hall of fame is going to be made up of gear that i've used that i use day after day and it's really something that I couldn't recommend enough. This is the first going in the Hall of Fame. There'll be more to come moving forward. And like I said, great fanny pack, awesome for so many day type activities and the Mountain Smith Tour could not recommend it highly enough. Great piece of equipment. It's affordable, it's durable, and it's just fantastic. So thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe below and any comments would be appreciated as well. And I'm just going to keep making these videos. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching.